So welcome back to the channel. It's Johnny Keely here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload directly to Instagram from your PC. So this is great for anyone who's got content on their computer and they want to easily upload it to Instagram without having to use their phone. We're going to be using a web app for this. And I genuinely think that this web app is better than the Instagram app itself. There are a few experienced things within it that just make it a much easier process to upload, particularly around hashtags and things like that. And at the end of the video, I'm also going to show you a cool trick to find and discover smaller hashtags that you can do from your phone as well that will make it a bit easier to get discovered and just get a little bit more reach for the smaller accounts. So you're going to need to use Google Chrome for this. If you're not already using Google Chrome as your web browser, download Google Chrome because what we're going to use is called a web extension, which is a bit like an app for your web browser. So if you're using Google Chrome, what you're going to need to do, you need to go and just Google web Chrome extensions. That's what we'll do. Chrome extensions like this. And then you'll get the Google Chrome web store. So we're going to click on that. And then from here, we're going to type in, it's called Insist. That's like Instagram Assistant, but it's I-N-S-S-I-S-T. -S -S there you go, Insist. Now you can see it's this one at the top here, Insist Web Client for Instagram. Now this has got uh, 2,000... 500-ish uh, five-star reviews. It's, I think it's on about 4.8 when I last checked, yeah, and it's got 300,000 users. If you are worried about this, you can go to their website and look at some of their safety things and what they're storing, but they seem to be a pretty decent uh, company or development company or whatever, so but do your own due diligence. If you don't trust it, you don't trust it, but I'm using it and I think it's fine for the time being. Uh, so I'm going to add this to Chrome. Yes, add extension. So I'm adding this extension to my web browser. So it's doing it here. Uh, get extensions to all your computer turn on sync. Let's just not worry about that, to be honest. So now that I've got that installed, there's a little uh, sort of jigsaw puzzle thing at the top here. You can go to extensions and that's where you'll find your extensions. I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me into Insist, the Instagram assistant. So I'm going to go, OK, let's go. So as you can see straight away, the good thing here is that this kind of gives us an emulation of our phone. So already that lets us know that there's going to be a lot of things that we can do that are already on the phone and the interface is going to be just the same and easy to do. So I'm going to accept cookies on this web browser. Um, so I'm going to log in. OK, so I'm going to log in with um, my new kind of alternative account for cabins that I've been using recently. So I've now logged in. And as you can see, the interface looks exactly like Instagram. I'm scrolling just like Instagram. So what we're going to do okay, to create a post from here, it's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. But I'm going to click the plus button at the bottom here. And you can do all these things. And I'm just going to click photo video, which can do this very simply. So once you click the plus button, it will give you the opportunity to, you know, choose a file just like you would if you're going to upload anything to the internet. And I am just going to choose, uh, I'll just choose this one for now. Okay, so I'm now uploading this photo. I can, you know, I can change the, the aspect ratio here. Uh, I can rotate it just like in the normal Instagram app. So, you know, there are some advanced posting options and things like that, but we're not going to worry about the paid stuff. We're just going to worry about the free stuff for now. So I'm going to go next. That takes us to the next bit here. Now, this is the bit that gets exciting, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Now, the great thing is here, you can just type. You're going to be like, hey, uh, I stayed in this cabin. OK, so you can write captions and all that sort of stuff. But the interesting thing is here is when we get to hashtags. So, for example, you can add hashtags just like you can. And if I type in cabin, uh, it gives me the option here. It auto you know, generates it just like it does on Instagram. But if I go over here and I type in, you know, hashtag cabin life, for example, it's going to give me a whole bunch of suggestions. Now, these are like quite high level hashtags. These are some of the bigger, more obvious ones. But it's giving me some really good examples. And what it's also doing is it's sort of telling me, for example, if I go over Cabin Life, it's telling me that uh, the average engage engagement in this hashtag is 22 times my highest. Uh, and the same here in terms of likes. It's giving me some really good indication of how my account sits within those hashtags, which is really, really handy. Now, remember, bear in mind that this is a new account. So I've only posted four times. I have about 150 followers on this account. If you want to follow my cabins and stuff, I'll, I'll leave a link just here uh, to follow. It's a new account where I'm going to be just talking about cabins and things like that. So you've got all these. Let's say you wanted to add these. Let's find some relevant ones. So for example, we've got cabin here. We've got cabin life. All you do is you just click on them and it will add them in. I don't think it does that first comment thing but honestly I don't really think that matters I never put my comment my hashtags in the first comment anyway at the moment I just throw them in the caption it's easier and I don't have to worry about it okay so cabin living cabin love you know it's, it's, you can just throw them in like this uh, it will also rank them so you can go the medium ones and you can go for the high um, engagement ones the very high 
and then you can also go to collections. So for example, let's say that I, you know, I, I like these five hashtags. I can actually grab these. If I hit copy and go add to collection, I can just go collection one. Uh, confirm. Okay, so now I've added these as a collection and what that means is is that next time It doesn't just copy paste them in, you know, for example, it's it's not a good idea to repeat hashtags over and over again So what this does what this means is that for example, let's say in this post I just added them like this again. You just click on them. It means for the next post You know, I could I could have loads in here I could have like 50 if I wanted and I can just you know click them in a different order and it just it makes it different, it makes it a bit easier to not act like a bot, which is very important. So I'm just going to add these five hashtags and then I would hit share and that just posts it to my account. I'm not going to obviously share, hey I stayed in this cabin wow, uh, to my account just yet. I might do that another time, but not today. So you've got a few other useful things as well, like for example you've got direct messages and things like that from here. You've got your post assistant, hashtag assistant, I think that's what we're already using. Then you've got your pro version stuff, which again we're not going to go into what those are. Uh, but if we go to post assistant for example, what's nice is it also gives us an overview of our account so you can see you know, how many likes, how many comments you're getting very quickly. Okay, so I said at the beginning that we were going to talk about hashtags. I was going to show you a neat little trick, so I will. If we go back to the hashtag assistant here, you can see that these are all the hashtags that it's suggesting if I put in cabin life, cabin love, those sorts of things. Now, if you don't already know, this is very important to sort of be quite specific with your hashtag. So don't put things into, don't put hashtags into your post that are not relevant to your post. You've got to think, for example, if I scroll down here and I look at, you know, camper van, somebody who's scrolling that hashtag is looking for camper van content. So they're not going to click on my uh, picture here of a cabin. They're not going to click on it. They may do if they're interested, but the average person is not going to click on it. That means that my hashtag, my post will not show in that hashtag and repeatedly it won't. So that, that's not good for engagement. We don't want to do that. Tiny house, maybe. Maybe a cabin could be considered a tiny house, depends on the cabin. So you could add tiny house movement, tiny homes, tiny living. I do do that on some of my cabin shots if they fit with the culture of tiny homes. So that's why you need to pick relevant hashtags. But we also talked about scale, why you need to pick small smaller hashtags if you're a small account. Let's take cabin love here for example. If you see here it says very high. This isn't how much engagement that hashtag is going to give you. That is how much engagement is on the other posts in the hashtag. You know, likes here, comments. This means that the other accounts that are doing well and posting to that hashtag are massive accounts that Instagram is going to be showing their content to lots and lots of people. So on a smaller account, particularly my one which is brand new, look, five posts. Uh, that I'm not going to do well in a high engagement hashtag. I can still add them because maybe my, my, my post will blow up, but I'm better off using the small ones. And I've got a great trick for finding the small ones. So I could add like cabin love, cabin life, you know, tiny house, tiny home. And in, in, in here, for example, I could put a frame because it's relevant. But if I want to find, you know, smaller hashtags, this is a really neat way of doing it, okay? And you can do this on the mobile phone. Uh, let's type in your niche. Say, for example, cabin. That's what I want to do. It's going to give me some suggestions. Now I'm just going to pick a random letter. I'm going to pick a G. I'm going to write cabin and then G. And it's going to suggest me some, some hashtags, you see. Cabin goals, 14,000 posts. That's pretty good. Uh, cabin getaway, 15,000 posts. That's pretty good. Cabin girl, I think you could post, I could use that if there was a girl in the photo. There isn't in this one, but you know, again, 3,000 posts. That's a pretty small kind of niche hashtag. We'll remove the G, let's go a different one. Let's go for a, I don't know, a, a, an H. What's this got here? You know, cabin house. Yeah, that, that works. 14,000 posts. Cabin home. Yeah, I think that works. So what you can see is I'm just adding my niche, the word cabin. Uh, and then adding one letter afterwards and it's suggesting it to me. Let's try T. Cabin trip. Yeah, that's good. 45,000 cabin time, 57,000. These are a little bigger, but again, you're, you're finding the small ones that it's not suggesting here and also that it's kind of hard to find anyway. So this is a really great way of finding small hashtags within your niche that you can use. And then once, you know, for example, once I've added all these, let's do another one, uh, cabin, what do we do, cabin home. You know, once you've added these, I can then grab them you know, and copy paste and add them to that collection here. I think I can edit that collection and add these ones in. I think I'm actually duplicating, but yeah, you get the idea. You can add them into here and then you can use them for later. And this also kind of rates them as well. Once you've added them to this section, you can see here that one of our smaller ones, which was uh, cabin home, it's a different color because yeah, it says it's high now. It's not ridiculous. You know, this is very high. It's got this red flame, whereas this one, 
247% of my average. So, you know, that would be worth using. It's a little high, but it's fine. So I really hope you found this useful. If you did find this useful, make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comments, is this the kind of thing that you're gonna use? Do you have to upload from your computer quite a lot? And if you are one of my subscribers, I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.